Monday, y'all. Oh, glory, hallelujah, Asando. All right, y'all, let's cut up this cantaloupe. So I'm doing some salmon and some uh, kale. You know, I just knocked the camera. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, listen. I want to I wanna talk a little bit more while we cooking. You know, while we cooking. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit more about F5 people. I just feel like I still need to talk about it for a few minutes. Um, let me tell y'all something. You really need to watch people. And one thing about kale, you can eat a bunch of it because it's going to wilt down a little bit, of course. But that's a good enough. It looks like a lot, but it's going to wilt right on down. You really do have to uh, be, ask God for wisdom and discernment. I'm being serious. Because, honey, if you don't, you mess around with these F5 people. And why I say F5 is because I was uh, reflecting on, you know, um, the F5 tornado. Just putting some pepper on here, y'all. Pepper. A little salt. Some onion powder and probably some smoked paprika. Yeah. You have to ask the Lord to help you discern who these type people are. Because if you don't, honey, they'll come into your life. And before you know it, honey, let me tell you something. Your whole get down will be switched over to the left, bent back, twisted like a pretzel, then forward again into a back handspring. And, you know, just like anything in life, we all have either allowed people like that in our life because we don't, we believe that pipe dream. And, you know, really, that's what, that's what, that's what Eve did. And see, this is the thing. See, we can always go back to the garden of Eden, y'all. Always. I'm going to get me some fresh, um, well, it ain't fresh garden, but some mixed garden. I'm going to put some in there, too. Let me tell y'all something. Eve... Honey, when Adam told her from the instruction from God, hey, don't eat of this tree. Because you will surely die. Right? Put that mixed bark in there, y'all. And we will believe the lie from the enemy that what God is giving us and providing for us is not enough. Now think about this, y'all. I mean, I'm being serious. Think about this now. You're in paradise. Right? You're in paradise. And God has provided everything. You ain't got to work. You ain't got to clean. All you got to do is sleep, get up, and 
commune and walk and talk with your heavenly father. Right? That's all you got to do day in, day out. But here come the devil. Here come a joker. Here comes somebody. A F, a F fiber. Oh my God. Here come Mr. and Mrs. F5. And they telling you. Hey no. What God provided for you ain't good enough. You need to come over here and look at this over here. Here's my salmon y'all. I'm going to season that up in a minute. Doing this orange pepper, y'all. Flip it over. That's it, y'all. Something simple. Lunch is simple today. But, y'all. And I'm going to cover this up so it can steam. Almost like a steam uh, uh, cooking. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to tend to these uh, tail while I'm talking to you. But anyway, y'all, seriously. So now you you believe that lie the devil told you that God is not provided for you enough. So you go out there and you start nibbling and seeking other things that is going to satisfy now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with pursuing things and being ambitious about some things. Yes. But once God has provided for you, and because God's grace, everything he gives us is sufficient. It is up. We, see, this is where we have to stop and say, okay, what is it am I pursuing that really thwarts the plan of God's plan for my life. Because he knows how to press on the pedal and how to get up off the pedal. How to press on the brake and get up off the brake. It's just like I was um with my granddaughter. In a few clips, you know, she's got a getting a, she's got a permit and everything. So she's learning how to drive and all this other kind of stuff. So the thing of it is, she is in a place where she's learning how to drive she's i told her i said driving is really a feeling and really just being aware of your surroundings now and that's what we forget we need to do eve all she had to do was look at her surroundings and say well you know what devil putting a little uh vegetable broth in there all she had to do was tell the devil Will you look around me? Good God am I. See, sometimes we have to tell them people that want to be F5s in our life. Them, them people that want to be F5s in our life. And they think they're going to rearrange my whole life. Relocate my whole life. And it goes against what God told me. See, 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 see. Sometimes we have to let people know. Do you see what I'm, do you see what I'm surrounded by? You, you mean to tell me you want me to go against what God has provided? Look at, devil, look at all this he done gave us. And you trying to get me to eat from that one tree that he told me not to? And he got, look at all this other beautiful tree. Look at all this other beautiful stuff. See, the devil always wants you to focus on something that you don't have. And it ain't that God won't let you eventually have something because he said nothing good he's going to withhold from us. Nothing. Turn that all the way down. Because I don't want to cook it to this mush. I want to have some nutrients still flowing through that. Put that all the way on low. That's right how I want it. So yes, we have to show the enemy I don't care what you say, devil. I serve a God that has given me more than enough. Ooh, that's going to be a good piece of salmon. I'm going to get my lemon out in a minute, too. Squeeze a little lemon on that bad boy. I'm telling you, honey, I love being able to just 
walk to my kitchen at lunchtime and just throw something on the stove and have you a nice, fresh, freshly made uh, lunch. So anyway, the whole purpose of me talking to y'all today, be very careful about F5 people in your life. People that's always trying to tell you something different that you know God has told you. It could be, you know, your husband is saying, look, not right now, no, 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 we don't do, do that. And here come Big Mouth Stella. Here come Wide, wide Mouth Wide Hip Stella. Squeeze a little lemon on this bad boy. Squeeze a little bit over here too. Matter of fact, I'm going to put me a little bit of turmeric in that kale too. Get my turmeric thing in. But yeah. We have to show when, when it, look, 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 look. When folks trying to show you stuff that you don't have, turn around and say, oh, but honey, oh, 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 but, oh, but, oh, but, oh, but. Let, let, let me show you what I do have. See, you want me to be focused on stuff I don't have. And what you trying to tell me I don't have is not conducive to the productivity of my life. Oh, my God. See, you have to go on and get people like that. <laughs> oh, honey, I thank you for your concern. But right now, oh, I am a, I am encouraged about the things that I that God has blessed me with right now. Because he told me he ain't going to withhold anything from me. And if it's for me, oh, my God. If it's for me, I don't know what you're talking about. Because you're trying to point to me, and that's what the devil did to Eve. Tried to make up all that other paradise God had provided. And God, uh, excuse me, and, 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 and the devil pointed her and tried to get her to look at what she didn't have. Oh, my God. And she was already, wait, wait, wait. And here's the other thing. They were doing just fine. They were doing just fine. They were eating. They were prospering. They were hanging out, chilling, laying back in the lily pads. And nobody had any fear. The frogs could jump on you. The bugs could land on your fingertips. Oh, honey, uh, 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 it wouldn't have been no problem to give Rick, John, and James some some nuts. Because they wouldn't have jumped on your screens to try to tell you how. Oh, but the devil. Oh, my God. Woo. I'm telling you, people will have you looking at stuff that have no relevance in what you're doing in your life. But they'll tell you this is what you need. And God said, I shall supply all your needs. Hey, according to my riches and glory. Oh, God. See, that's why you have to see, 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 see. That's why, you have, that's why I tell people, that's why you got to get in your word. Stop trying to argue with John Jacob Hemerheimer Smith. His name is mine. And stop trying to argue with folk after you know God has given you and shown you the promise. Oh, honey, God, I thank you. Ooh, endow us, oh, Lord, to remember that. When somebody try to show you what you don't have, oh, but, huh, oh, 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 but let me show you what I do have. Woo! And tell them there's five people to get to stepping. That same wind that you came in, I'm using the word, word of God to bounce you and ride that whirlwind out of my life. But what you talking about ain't nothing but going to cause me a bunch of problems. Oh, my God. Woo. All right, y'all. That's enough of me jaw jacking over lunch. I'm going to plate up, y'all, and then I'm going to sit down and eat right quick. I got 30 minutes. Oh, glory, I thank you. Yes. And that salmon is done, honey. Simple orange pepper, blackened salmon, and some kale, honey. We're good to go. OMG y'all, this lunch was excellent. That orange and pepper sauce is the business. 
I might have to bust a move and get me some of that, um, get me like some sirloin steak and slice it up real thin and use that sauce on it. It was absolutely excellent with the kale and then that sweetness of the cantaloupe. Perfect, perfect lunch. Man, I really want another piece of that salmon, but nope. Portion size, portion control. I'm satisfied. I'm not full or stuffed or anything, but I'm satisfied. So, but anyway, on dinner, on the schedule for tonight, tonight is the Philly cheese steak pasta. This I saw it on Large Family Love. I thought, you know what? I'm going to just do the daggone thing. I got some bow tie pasta in there, and I'm going to probably, I'm inspired by her recipe because you know I do my own little thing. But yeah, this is what I'm going to fix tonight for dinner. And I'll probably show y'all me just assembling this um, overnight oats. I got a taste for that. I really enjoyed that. Where you do like the oats and the milk, uh, the oatmeal milk, um, little chocolate chips. You know, you just do a variety of little things and you sit it in the refrigerator overnight. I might put a little peanut butter in it this time and try it. But anyway, that's what's for dinner tonight. Ooh, y'all. It looks like it's about to do something. Mm, it's right humid out here, y'all. It's about, it's, about, it's about to do something. It is about to do something. My blooms are coming up on my hydrangea over there. My little lilies are going to pop up over there in a minute. A couple of more days. Or maybe a week. They're yellow and white. Like lilies. Oh, I'm so glad when my backyard get done. Okay, y'all. Here's my Instacart order for the week. I got me some um, butter lettuce. And I also got it in um, the whole lettuce. Or the whole head, if you will. Okay, I got blueberries, of course, my favorite. And my doctor told me to try Greek yogurt because it does not spike your sugar a whole lot. It's a little bit more better for you. So I said, let me get the Food Line brand and the Chabana brand. Who's going to do it best? Which one is going to taste better? Will I be able to, you know, go with the Food Line brand? But anyway, we'll see. I got some butter back here. Got some eggs, Roma tomatoes, some snow peas. Some radishes, some um, portobello sliced mushrooms. I uh, had some, I just ordered um, some plain bagels, but they had buy one, get one free. So, of course, they asked me, did I want another plain or which one I wanted? I said, give me a cinnamon because I'm going to, of course, eat this, these for breakfast. Um, strawberries in the back. Some vanilla silk. They didn't have any sweet and creamy. She said they were sold out. So I told her to get me the vanilla. So I'll be trying this one for the first time. And of course I got my sweet mini peppers in the back. Um, I've got some red bell peppers. Because I'm going to make a, um, a bell pepper sandwich. I saw lovely Mimi do it on her channel and I was intrigued and I just like her she's just she's fun she's out there but she's just fun <laughs> um and I've got two um green bell peppers I've got two avocados and two cans of condensed cream of mushroom soup um and that's it for this week $52 yep that's all I needed this week all right y'all Toodles.